Richmond Torque Marker. Uh, what we've done with this design is try to make a single step torque marker to avoid having to mark once pre-op and then again in the operating room to try to get it more accurate and less chance of error. There's a couple modifications to this particular one. The first thing is that the weight is in the back, so you can put your fingers pretty close. I'm not ready to mark the patient yet, but if I want to put my fingers really close to be steady, or if I'm more comfortable holding it back further, I still don't hit the weight. That's the first thing. The second thing that the modification was a change to angulation that comes off the actual face of the marker. I used to have trouble when I do this of actually coming through and hitting the patient's lower eyelid, which I found quite challenging. So on this one, I've Basically, we've already set it up to mark at the 90 degree axis. I put a little bit of uh, ink on the marker. And Kathy, if you can hold the upper sure. eyelid, please. And your job is to look straight. So with the mm, patient sitting upright yeah. as best well, as possible. Yeah, keep it. your chin straight and look straight at it. You can grab the upper lid a little bit it better. Just, there we go. And I like to dry off with the Q-tip so the marks stick a little bit. And then just let the weight steady. And once you're steady, fill in mark. At 90 degrees.